Okay, Pumla. So tell us, tell us your name and, and the situation. What's, what's, what's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Pumla, and my same name is Comfort. Ah, Pumla. That's it. Comfort. That's G U O M F E. Okay, let me do something easier. What's your clan name? My clan name is Kali. Kali. It's Kali. Okay, I'm gonna do Kali. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Pumla of the Kali clan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, but let me tell, let me ask you. Let's start right there. In the Kali clan, the the, the the your clan, what's it like? Well, do the people know what you're doing? Do they, does does your clan support you? How does that work? You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, they know they know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and they support me. Um, coding like spiritually. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, like saying that, continue doing this thing. This thing is right for for us as a clan and also for the, our community and also for the benefit of our children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not like uh, instrumentally support, like material call, you know, but mm -hmm. just emotional support. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm -hmm. That's how they support me. Well, how, how, how big or how big, how big or small is your clan? How? Um, what's it? Is it spread out? Is it just in the in the Concordia area? What was? It? Yeah, no, it's spread up. It's mm. Spread up. You can find them in Cape Town. You can find them in Transkei. Find them in East London. Find them in. Uh, I mean, all over. Mm -hmm. you know? do, they, do they come together? Uh, of course, they? occasionally. Mm. Occasionally, they will come together. Like if we, if somebody is within our clan, clan, mm. you know. Um, maybe died, mm -hmm. and then you come together, and also when we celebrate, you know, like uh, our our banquets, you know, mm -hmm. then they become involved, you know, and mm -hmm. also so at some stage we we kind of collecting everybody and go to where our roots are, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and we sit together there and we have a very good feast. Okay, so where, where where is your roots? Where where's the roots of the Kali clan? Uh, the, our roots is, is is not very far. It's uh it's it's nearby Simo. Oh Simo, yeah, yes, yeah, I know yes, that's, that's close where to Port Beaufort, kind of. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. So you're still in Konkobe? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, yes, okay, okay, yes. okay. And now, tell me the story again of of you started this initiative. It's 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 called Unza Monkle um, Daycare Center. What what's what's the title? What's the yes? It's Unza Monkle Special Daycare Center. Mm. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. What 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 what's so what's what's special about it? Let's ask you that. <laughs> uh. That's uh. But the 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 kind of a name is nice, you know, because in English Unza Monkle is a nice is a it's a nice try or it's a best try. Best try. Yeah, best try. The T R Y. Yeah. The best. best. You're, you're doing your best. Yes, you're, you're best the best try, try that yes. you can do. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's that's what we really mean about Umza Mumble in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, what do you want to know about Umza Mumble? No, just well, how did it start? Why did it start? You're, you're the initi you're, you're the one that started it. Well, why did you start it? Just just the, yeah, the, the regular in, history. Initially, um, in fact, yeah. Uh, what happened is that I was working for with the past eight years in Cape Town mm -hmm. and working with young people at risk. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was trained uh, as, a, as a child and youth mm -hmm. practitioner. Mm -hmm. When you say young people at risk, uh, uh, what uh, is people that, that is children and young people that are living on the street, mm -hmm. that is street children, mm -hmm. homeless children, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, I work directly with them. Also, I work in uh, in Posmo prison mm -hmm. with the youth that are waiting on trial. You know, um, doing special programs. Mm -hmm. You know, with the, with the Western Cape who are artists. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was running some programs there in in, in cells. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you start that? I mean, did you have, did did you have some training in that before you went to the to to, to the at risk people or the or that situation? Did you or did you just fall into it? What what made you uh, start working with with young people? Yeah, because I've been trained by National Association of Child and Youth Care Workers. Ah, okay. So I've got some basic kind of skills working with young people at risk. You know. You know. Mm -hmm. So I become a, a specialist on that field, you know, because also we do some wilderness therapy, 
mm-hmm. taking the young men to the camp for 10 days to 15 days, you know. And uh, I found myself there because, you know, in the, in the bush, you know, in the wilderness, mm-hmm. you know, when we've got some solo time, you know, with the guys, you know, one will do the introspection to himself, mm-hmm. you know. And I got to understand that um, I'm a specialist. So mm. I thought about, I have to go home, right? Um, and do something different at home that will enhance the development of children, irrespective of who are them. Like, irrespective of that they are at risk or are not at risk, um, or disabled or not disabled, you know, under the name of children, mm-hmm. you know. So I find myself that I have to go home. And so when you say home, do you mean Seymour or do you mean Alice? Or where, where was home for you? That yeah, time? no, home is in Alice. Ah, okay, yes, okay. Yes, uh, where I am now, mm-hmm. you know, that's my home, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So I thought that um, the, uh, when the child is grew, right, um, it takes some more people to, inv- to, to be involved in the child development and growth. You know, mm-hmm. and um, I said I have to give back to my community because I was raised up by my children, by my father, my, by my parents, and my brothers, and the society also. You know, and I said there's something that I have to give them. You know, to say thank you very much to to groom and to to give birth mm-hmm. and give support this young man like me, mm-hmm. you know. Now when you say you was raised up by your, your parents and, and your brothers, uh, how many children, um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Yeah, um, I used to have seven brothers mm-hmm. and two sisters. Mm-hmm. But in that seven brothers, four are dead. So I passed away, mm-hmm. right, the four of them, you know. What circumstances did they pass away? Um, no, no, that's a natural circumstances. Mm-hmm. It's natural circumstances. It's not like uh, accidental whatsoever, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got sick and uh, yeah, they died like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. mm-hmm. Okay, so you're back in Alice and you wanted to do something. Yes. So what made you come up with this idea to help? This is not just... This is a very special situation because it's not just at-risk children. Mm. These are children. Well, describe what 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 what's the situation with these children here? Yeah, the situation with these children. So when I come back, right, um, I find myself that I'm an asset. You know, um, that means that uh, I I can make difference to to young people and children. You know, in the area. You know, so I went to social development uh, and I asked the social development that. Uh, is there anything that, uh, any way that I can get a job, you know, and work? And then they said, no, you can go to Pisho. And then I go to Pisho, you know, and I meet social development at the headquarters of the, the, the social development in our province. Mm-hmm. Um, and what the, province are we talking about? Eastern Cape. Mm-hmm. All the whole Eastern Cape, yeah. the bishop is, is Eastern, sort of like the, the yeah. governmental center. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. yeah. So I went there in Pisho and uh, I asked them, you know, what, what can I help? You know, I need a job. And then they sent me to a, a school of industry, mm-hmm. a, a school where the kids are, children are kept awaiting on trial. And work, they, as a child in youth work, I know what to do with them. So I went there in East London. So even there, I was not satisfied. Mm. I wanted to do something in the area where I am coming. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like in Congo, in Congo, you know, mm-hmm. you know, in the community that you was helping me, you know, mm-hmm. to grow up and they raised me, you know, learning some norms and values, you know, and uh, I decided to come here again, you know. And there was an appeal from the social development side saying that there are children that are uh, uh, are mentally challenged or uh, slow learners or who've got problems with learning, Mm -hmm. right? Uh, As a result, those children are out of school 
and they are just wandering, you know, on the street of Alice, and uh, and I have to. Then we set up a program with the, with the social workers that can we go to the schools and do sort of an awareness campaign, right? Um, we thought that the, the the problem is just in 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 Alice. But we also find that also the Fort by Fort have got the same problem. The King Limestone have got the same problem. The Middle Drift area have got the same problem, right? And there's no special school for for these kids. And these kids now are being victims, right, of the circumstances because now they they don't feel like going to to be integrated with the, with other kids because they're being discriminated. There's a lot of discrimination happening on them in the in the so-called the mainstream schooling, you know, and they're being stigmatized as as stupid as they call it domun. They're saying that you're very stupid, right? Um, because the the, the the kind of their IQ is below seventy. Below seven zero. Yes, it's mm. just below because. What's what's normal IQ? What 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 they call what do they call normal IQ? What's the normal range of IQ? Is it? Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's supposed to be hundred. Eh? Hundred. Okay. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be hundred. You know, um, so these kids they don't feel like going to be integrated with those children in the mainstream schooling because they, they are being discriminated, eh? and they have to sit down at home and they become victims of rape, sexual harassment and with the girls, and also sodomized with the boys, and also being involved in crimes, people, they, 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 they could just abuse them in every respect, emotionally, physically, you know, and is selling, asking them to buy liquor for them, for their shippings, you know, and uh, buying drugs for them, you know. So these kids are really vulnerable, all right? So we collect them, we went to churches and do the awareness campaign, and uh, I became the chairman of the organization. Hmm. How many people were, 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 were involved in that particular part? Let me yeah. let, let's stop right there for a second. Mm -hmm.